Greetings viewers. Today I have the great privilege and honour of interviewing the legendary Derek J. A former recording TV personality known to many as Derek J. the King of Romance. He has been described as one of the finest Belvedere's in Australia. His voice being compared with or resembling Ingelberg Humpeldick. After having migrated to Australia from Sri Lanka, he has built a very successful career for himself, having appeared nationally on major television shows such as Channel 9 in Melbourne today, Till 10 on Channel 10, At Home on Channel 7 with John Mangos and Good Morning Australia with Bert Newton and many more television programs Australia-wide. Amongst Derek's many achievements and accolades, his talent, charisma, humility and kindness has endured thousands of fans, which resulted in two gold albums. What an epic feat to achieve, being an independent label artist. Without further ado, let's speak to the man himself. Greetings, Derek. What a great introduction, uh, Ash. That was very nice, and uh, thanks for having me on your program. Derek J, the Thank recording artist, is with us in the studio now. Derek was born in Sri Lanka. He's made many TV appearances and telethons and in the Penthouse Club and uh, recorded in front of a, a, a live crowd of 5,000 down at the Palais. You may know some of his records, Come What May, and an album called Last Chance for Love. Would you welcome, live in our telethon today from Channel 7, Derek J. Great discovery of ours has become a very popular person right around Australia, Derek J. We got on the show, they're one of our most popular artists that we've ever had on in Melbourne today, Derek J. A lot of ladies like him. And sells thousands and thousands of cats. This is our first music act for the week, and what an act too. We had Derek J on the show a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. and the phones went berserk. And letters. Love uh, Derek J. Got lots of mail about him. No wonder you're so popular, Derek. Thank you for that. Derek J. One of our most popular regulars, uh, artist-wise, is Derek J. Name's been everywhere. Can I introduce you to Derek J? I really love him. He's a really nice person. Here he is singing, I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Please say hello to Derek J. Big welcome for Derek J. We'll also be entertained by one of Melbourne's most popular singers, Derek J. Derek J. What a wonderful song. Would you please welcome, with a great song, What I Did for Love, Derek J. I'd like to welcome now Derek J. The singer who's been described as having a distinguished voice, uh, which has a, a fresh quality about it. I'd like to welcome this morning Derek J. a big name for himself here. Would you please welcome the wonderful mellow voice of Derek J. Derek J. Next guest, however, was born in Sri Lanka. Tonight, he will sing for us in both English and Singalese. The singer, Derek J. The song, Born Free. John Foreman and I used to love working with Derek J back in the days of Good Morning Australia with Bert Newton, the golden voice of Derek J. Derek, of course, was one of our regular performers on the show. Bert always really looked forward to Derek's appearances on Good Morning Australia, as did I, and of course, as did our viewers. They always loved hearing the golden voice of Derek J. Congratulations on all of your success and he's wishing you all the very best for the future. Congratulations, Derek J. Hello, it's Greg Evans here. You may remember me from TV. Then again, you may remember me from TV as the host of Perfect Match. I've known Derek J for 45 years and I've been enjoying his music. I first met him at the Emperor Court restaurant where he was a regular. In fact, I think I had the first dance with my daughter Jodie to the sounds of Derek J. Derek, uh, thank you for the music from all those years ago and from now, and I'm thrilled to bits that your career is still going strong. All the best, mate. Hi, Derek. I'm really honoured to be contributing this uh, video uh, to you today. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Keith Potker. I'm a founding member of The Seekers, and uh, when The Seekers uh, broke up, and stopped touring in 2014, I started to do some solo work, but not quite solo because I was able to join Derek in some of the gigs that we did. And it was uh, such a great thing to, to work with uh, Derek. Derek, you are such a professional and it was a great time to be performing with you. And I wish you all the best for your future. All the best, bye-bye. 